In this second Blockly for Pickaxe tutorial, we will learn how to program an input device such as a switch. Controlling an output device is covered in tutorial 1. First, connect your Axe 27 cable and power supply to your project board. Here, we're using the Axe 130 with an 08M2 chip. You can use the Pickaxe Editor version 6 or the Blockly app to follow this tutorial. Here, we're using Pickaxe Editor version 6. From the Loops menu, select a Forever Do loop. From the Input menu, select a If Then Else block. Change the input identifier to C3, which is where the switch is located, and set the status to On. Next, from the Output menu, select a Turn Output block and place it in the then line of the if then else block. Change the output identifier to C2, which is where the green LED is located, and set the output status to on. Select another turn output block from the output menu and place this one next to the else line. Again, change the output identifier to C2 and set the output status to off. We can now test the build in the simulator. In the simulation window, click on the C3 location and the grey square changes colour. This represents the switch being pressed. C2 now changes colour which represents the LED being on. So when the switch is pressed, the LED comes on and when the switch is released, the LED turns off. So once you are happy with your Blockly build, you can program the chip on the project board. And that's all there is to it. Next time, we'll build some code to read a variable value from a light-dependent resistor.